Who is he? <laughs> That's not me too. <laughs> okay. guys Nintendo Direct November 12th okay let's see this oh boy. how do I make that thing go away hi everyone Reggie here from Nintendo <laughs> how do I make it go away? welcome back to our first Nintendo Direct since oh. the passing of late Nintendo president Satoru Iwata all right. we appreciate all your kind messages We'll continue to deliver information about our games and franchises directly to you. Thank you for your support. Sounds good. Today, we'll be taking a look at what's in store for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS as we approach the new year and as we look beyond into early 2016. First, let's jump ahead for a look at a key title coming in 2016. Ooh. It may look a little familiar. The Legend of Zelda Twilight oh. Princess was released on both the Nintendo GameCube what? and Wii system <laughs> back in 06. <laughs> and now, it's making a grand return on Wii U uh, as the remake? Legend of Zelda oh Twilight my. Princess HD. Please take me? a look. I mean, that's cool, but like... Wasn't there supposed to be like a new one? Or is that still a thing? I don't know. Oh my gosh, graphics looks I remember, I remember when this came out. I didn't really play it though, because it gave me the creeps. I don't know why. It just looked too like shadowy, too like uh, eerie or whatever. Enhanced visuals shine a new light on the memorable characters and detailed scenery, immersing you in the game world like never before. The team supporting development at Tantalus in Australia has a great track record for ports, but it's more than a prettier version of the same game. To make this game even more enjoyable, we've decided to create a new amiibo figure. What the? And here it is, Wolf Link. In addition to Wolf Link, the game is compatible with these five other amiibo from the Super All right, Smash that's cool. Series. I got sheet. <laughs> There's some other new features. I need too, to get links. But we'll touch on those later. Fortunately. A bundle containing the game, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, and the Wolf Link figure will be released on March 4th, 2016. That's actually really good because pre-orders go up there. They're We're like offering the game's official soundtrack as five dollars more, bonus. I think. 2016 I think. marks the 30th anniversary of the Legend of Zelda series. I we think. hope anyone who's ever donned the green Probably cap rock. will enjoy the it's Legend like of Zelda Twilight Princess HD and the brand new Zelda game. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is coming out. Okay, that's good. Nice. I'm getting that one for sure. The new one for sure. I'm getting that one for sure. I like the graphics, like the art style. In fact, some data saved to the Wolf Link Amiibo in Twilight Princess HD be will be carried over to the new Zelda game. How did I know he was going to say that? We're working hard on the new Zelda <laughs> game for Wii U because we want it to live up to your expectations. Yeah, dude, I hope and it does. 30 years of Zelda goodness. Let me pass it over to Bill for some more updates. Thanks, Reggie. While we wait for Zelda's big year in 2016, I'll be playing a lot more of The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, which just released last month. <sighs> We're currently working on a free update not, for the game that, that adds a I'm new a area Triforce called Heroes. The Den of Trials. Imagine this, if regular dungeons have four stages, The Den of Trials has a whopping 30 plus stages. And unless you and your team defeat every enemy in a stage, you won't be able to move on to the next one. In other words, you're in for a real challenge here, my heroic friends. 
Luckily, there are checkpoints sprinkled throughout the Den of Trials, so use that to your advantage and see if you can complete all the new stages. We're also adding in two new outfits, Linebeck's uniform, which will let you see inside of treasure chests before you open them, and the Fierce Deity armor. This will increase your attack power, and you'll shoot beams in four directions. Both outfits are powerful options that provide additional strategic depth for both the main game and the Den of Trials. This free update for The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes will release on December 2nd. Now it's time to dive deep into a world filled with mystery, danger, adventure, and Pokemon. Lots of Pokemon. Get ready to be transported to a world filled only oh, with Pokemon mystery when Pokemon dungeon, Super Mystery Dungeon oh my. releases on November 20th. You'll get to become one of 20 different Pokemon, live in their world, explore ever-changing dungeons, that shit on purpose. solve they the mystery that shit on purpose. of why Pokemon are being turned to stone, like and a new Pokemon every game, like single main known Pokemon. Or like, I don't know, something yep, else. I said it. Every Pokemon, all 720 of them. However, exploring dungeons that change every time you enter them is a dangerous profession. But fear not, here. you can befriend Maybe Pokemon birds, and have them join you on your quests. You can also collect different items to equip and use, so you can explore dungeons like an expert. With turn-based Pokemon battles, strategy is key, so you'll want to make sure you bring the right type of Pokemon and items with you when you head into a dungeon. Or else, you'll end up sending out a rescue request to your friends, <laughs> asking them to come save you. With the new Connection Orb, a giant, galaxy-like map that connects you with other Pokémon and gives you new quests to complete, you'll befriend Pokémon and conquer dungeons in no time at all. You'll even get to battle alongside legendary and mythical Pokémon, and combine the moves of your team to unleash attacks that will knock out even the mightiest Pokémon foe. I can imagine somebody being like... Also included with the game hey, is a free uh, Pokémon Super Mystery man, Dungeon Nintendo 3DS theme <laughs> available for a limited time. It's always good to load up a game in style. Pokemon Super Mystery what Dungeon arrives guy? on November 20th. He's like my heroic friends. Now, a couple Wii U game updates coming in 2015. Ooh, Wii U updates. There's new content headed to Splatoon, and we've prepared a video to showcase it. Please take a look. I play Splatoon. Wait, what? Art Museum. Yo, that's pretty cool! No, I'm just kidding. Art Museum. That actually makes sense, I guess. Oh, this one's more like more. I guess they made this to like showcase art. I guess so. You're not art. But oh my! There's a skull mask. That mask look cool. Yeah, that little ghost. That looks like go the ghost thing. You know, I heard that game was shit. Oh well. Yo, I need to keep playing Splatoon. I haven't played that game. I haven't played it since like July or something. Cool. And another stage. Oh my! God. Yo, this game's getting too much updates. It's unreal. Yeah, that's. Okay. Is there like a trapping? I don't even think there's a trapping weapon. If there's like a trapping weapon, you like trap him on that part and he's like drowned, I guess. I think, maybe. I hope. That'd be funny. Great. That's not ink in your eyes. You just got your first look at some new stages and equipment we're adding with future updates. Museum de Alfonsino features five revolving obstacles in the center of the stage. Okay. The key to victory? Working all the angles these obstacles provide. Now it is a museum, so many infamous paintings and artifacts from the squid world are on display. And here's another new stage, Mahi Mahi Resort. It looks like a poolside resort hotel, so it may be a little intimidating to water shy inklings. However, <laughs> In the latter half of the match, the water level drops, exposing more turf for the hosing. That'll make it tough to tell which team will win, right up until the very last second. Oh, okay. Did I say an update was coming in the future? Well, the future is now. An update will be available today at 5 p.m. What? Pacific time. 
with over 40 new pieces of gear, including more winter items nice. and some slick bandanas. And the new stage, right. Museum de Alfonsino, will be added tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, wow. Splatoon will continue to offer more updates, yeah. at least until next January. These updates oh, wow. will include new stages, gear, and adjustments to the gameplay balance. That's fine. As of this update, we've added new multiplayer modes like Rainmaker and Tower Control, eight new maps, 27 yeah, new weapons, play. and more than 80 new pieces of gear along with team matchmaking and private matches, all at no additional charge. That's true. And with the launch of the Splatnet website, you can now track progress and stats for you and your friends. The competition in Splatoon is as hot and exciting as ever. And to show you just how hot the competition can be, we're going to be holding an official Nintendo Treehouse Splatoon tournament this December, and we're going to live stream it on our official Twitch and YouTube channels, as well as live.nintendo.com. Oh, they're going competitive with this now. The tournament will feature teams made up entirely of Nintendo Treehouse staff, and will introduce a variety of potential options for tournament rules, as well as details on how to set up your own tournaments, both locally and online. Next up, Super Mario Maker. A recent update introduced checkpoint flags and status-dependent oh, power-ups. that's why I didn't buy that game, I think. course creation easier. Or, oh. I don't think. So far, more than 3.3 million courses are available to play globally. All right, that's what Every reason, day, that's we see a variety of new levels, from there was like no tricky obstacle like. courses, to extreme challenges, to visually striking courses as well. It's amazing to see, but with so many to choose from, some players are finding it difficult to pick which courses they want to play. So, we've decided to release a new portal site that you can access on the go. It will offer a more robust search function than the one found in-game. This portal site will let you search for particular types of courses on your PC browser or smartphone. You can filter them using prefix tags for things like full go. auto, sound based, or time attack levels. If you're out and about and find an interesting course, you can register it as one of your favorites, then go home and find it flagged yeah, for you to cool. play in Super Mario Maker. Basically, this lets you find the right courses faster so you can have more fun. It's planned for December, so stay tuned oh, for more oh, details wow. in the coming weeks. I don't Next, know, man. Let's check in on some new game. Wii U games that are right around the corner. Fans know that every day in Animal Crossing is a roll of the dice. And that has never been truer than now. Party. In Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, it's villagers festival. live out a month of ups and downs each time you play, where each move you make on the board is a new day. Roll the dice, walk the board, and see what kinds of unexpected things can happen. At the end of the month, the player with the most happy points wins. The game launches initially as part of a bundle that contains two Amiibo figures, Isabel and Digby. You can only get these figures at launch in the bundle, and Digby will only be in the bundle while supplies last. But other compatible Amiibo figures will also be available at launch, with more on the way after that. The cool part is any figure you tap will transport the character into the game world, so you can play as them. That's pretty cool. The Animal Crossing Amiibo cards can also be used to play other game modes. There's a neat one called Desert Island Escape, that lets you use these cards to select three villagers to cast off to an island. The goal is to locate materials to build a raft, as well as food and resources to keep you alive until it's ready. Yo, I, I actually There's don't multiple want maps this game. to play on, characters that have unique strengths and weaknesses, and enemies that get in your way. <laughs> things get a little tricky in a good way. That's pretty the game also has an Animal Crossing quiz you can play with your friends. Here, try one out. What's my catchphrase? Some questions can get pretty tough, but hardcore Animal Crossing fans oh, may just stand a chance. Man. The bundle featuring Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival and the Isabel and Digby Amiibo figures will release November 13th alongside the Amiibo you see on the screen. Yo, I'm getting me Next Tom up, Nook and KK. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. In the latest Mario I Tennis actually game, get players too. can enjoy taking on singles or doubles matches as Mario series characters. Might actually be cool. Now players can perform a new move, a jump shot, which lets you return a shot without waiting for the ball to bounce on the court first, oh, adding another layer of strategy to each match. Can you even hit that back? If you're able to knock your opponent off balance, a smash point will appear on the court. Use the jump shot from there to bust out a powerful ultra smash. What the? In Mega Battle mode, Toad stands by the court 
tossing in mega mushrooms that temporarily turn you into a giant. What the? Heck? The game also offers simple mode which lets you turn off things like Mega Mushrooms so you can enjoy a more traditional game of tennis. This title offers up to four player local multiplayer as well as online multiplayer so you can meet up at the court with anyone around the world in two separate online modes. You can play standard, simple, or Mega Battle matches in ranked mode or in casual mode. Who the heck's that fairy? I've never seen that fairy! Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is also I've never compatible seen that with Amiibo. In the single player mode, Knockout Challenge, players can tap an amiibo figure to team up with that character. Oh, that's pretty cool. The more you win, the more powerful your next opponent will be. Luckily, your amiibo partner will have your back. After the match, tap your amiibo again to save the character's play experience and even change their stats through the amiibo menu. Oh, that's pretty cool. Have your amiibo focus on quick moves, powerful shots, you name it. This amiibo player can be used as a partner in online doubles matches as well. So team up and challenge rivals from around the globe together. Double matches. Mario but Tennis Ultra amiibo. Smash is arriving on November amiibo. 20th, 2015. Who do I even have? Do that. Nobody. In 22 days, <laughs> the Earth will be no more. On December 4th, oh, no, humanity will come game. face to face with its greatest trial yet to survive. When Xenoblade Chronicles X launches on oh. Wii U. I thought it was it's an RPG like, adventure as deep as you want it to be, and, uh, with a huge world Samus. to explore and giant transforming mechs called Skells right. to pilot. But yeah, I, I want this game too. The game combines yeah, the open world dang. exploration <laughs> and deep immersion of dang Western it. RPGs with the stylish I really visuals do this want this and action-packed combat amazing. of Japanese RPGs. I, I mentioned it in, in the fact, other video. Anyone looking to embark freaking, on an immense uh, journey should LP be right interested here. in this one. Awesome. Zelda fans, Metroid fans, I'm looking at you. For those of you purchasing a physical version of the game, there are four free high-speed data loading packs you can start downloading today that will speed up loading times for you. These aren't required, but they will greatly improve your gameplay experience. We recommend you download at least the basic pack. Which reminds me, you can also go to the Nintendo eShop today to pre-purchase and pre-load the digital version of Xenoblade Chronicles X. I like physical this version packs, doesn't require the data packs because they are built into the digital version. The holidays are fast approaching, so in the remaining days, prepare for your journey across the stars and out to planet Mira by checking out our video series, Xenoblade Chronicles X Survival Guide. You can find it on our YouTube channel. I'm gonna have to Xenoblade do Chronicles that. X is arriving on December 4th. Let's switch things up by taking a look at some Nintendo eShop exclusive <laughs> digital offerings. First up is a Nintendo 3DS title that was released on the eShop a couple of days ago. Nintendo Badge Arcade is a new free-to-start game available exclusively on the Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. It's a fun crane machine game that earns you Nintendo badges, which you can use to customize your Nintendo 3DS home menu like never before. The best part? It's free to start. When you first download the game, you get five free chances to play with the badge catcher. Then, you can head to the practice catcher, giving you five chances to test your skills per day. Or, you can purchase additional paid plays from the Nintendo eShop, so you can get those badges and decorate your home menu. As you make purchases, there may even be a way to get some exclusive themes. Make sure to check back frequently. The game is constantly being updated with new badges to collect, and some of these are not to be missed. Wow, that's pretty cool. Not it's time to get a clue and catch Pokemon all at the same time. Pokemon Picross is a free-to-start downloadable puzzle game that's easy to pick up and hard to put down. During gameplay, there are horizontal. Why do you keep doing this to, just to, to me? As you, see fit, you know everybody the wants on each row as freaking. Your <laughs> Slowly, you'll begin to reveal a Pokemon picture. I don't see. Any. Oh wow! Add a captured Pokemon That's to your party, cool. and you can use its support mm -hmm. skill while you play. You can get pick rights in the game, which can be used to solve puzzles more effectively. You can also purchase pick rights on the Nintendo eShop. Yo. I'm getting with more than 300 stages like the way the and every like mega the evolved Pokemon, forward. along with legendary and mythical Pokemon, cool. there are tons of reasons to take a break from your job or studies <laughs> to solve a puzzle or two. The free-to-start game Pokemon Picross 
will launch in early December oh, exclusively in the Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. Uh, I kind of wanted it for mobile. There are some great Nindies titles on the way, just in time for the holiday season. Let's see what's Nindy up. Titles. SteamWorld Heist is a side-scrolling turn-based strategy shooter that's all about boarding, looting, and shooting through enemy spaceships. Also, you can upgrade your ragtag crew of steam-powered robots with unique abilities, weapons, and even stylish hats. It's all about skill. <laughs> Aim the gun and even bounce bullets off of walls. That's actually pretty cool. For a limited time, an exclusive Nintendo 3DS home menu theme will come with every purchase of SteamWorld Heist after the game launches on the Nintendo eShop this holiday. It's almost here. With non-stop adrenaline pumping action at 60 frames per second, Fast Racing Neo may just be the fastest racing game you've ever experienced. Try to master the phase switching gameplay to reach hypersonic speed in a sizable single player campaign. Or race seven other players online and face off with friends in local four player split screen. If you unlock hero mode, there's a whole new set of rules and challenges to face. The big race is fast approaching. Hero mode. Fast racing. Typo Man is a puzzling platformer that tells a dark tale of heroes and monsters, where words can be a blessing or a curse. Trap. Using the power of wordcraft, use That's letters cool. to create or change words that will literally bend the world to your will. It's a great use of the Wii U gamepad and an intriguing experience you shouldn't pass up. Yo. To see more games like these, really check out cool. the Nintendo eShop frequently throughout the rest of the year. Team, we're going to be powering through some meetings all day today, but to keep us going, I got us some snacks. Bill! 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 What the heck? Bill! 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 That's all they had to say about it. Wow, stay tuned. Okay. Wow. Bill may have gotten a little carried away with those donuts, but not with our games. Yes. yes, the end of the year is fast approaching, but 2015, we're not done with you yet. In recent weeks, we've seen great titles like Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, and Yokai Watch launch on Nintendo game. 3DS. It's a great time to be a Nintendo 3DS owner. <laughs> and with Yoshi's Woolly World launching last month, mm -hmm. and games on the way like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, <laughs> Animal cool, Crossing Amiibo so Festival, Devil's Third, and Xenoblade Chronicles X, yeah. Wii U has something for everyone leading us into the holidays. Mm -hmm. If you're still waiting to jump in or looking for a great gift this season, <laughs> Keep an eye out for a new Wii U bundle this holiday, featuring not just Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, but also the surprise hit of the year, Splatoon. Splat. Also, be on the lookout for some great deals on the original Nintendo 3DS XL system. I, I pretty much bought if a Wii U the time fancy, I did, just for those two games. Come Black Friday. And now you're telling me... And after the holidays, a new batch of Amiibo will arrive. Here's Rossetti. a look at oh. what to expect in January. I was gonna like call them out and everything. Now, <laughs> let's switch back over to Bill for a look at games coming in early 2016. 2016, hype, hype, here hype, we hype, come. Hype. Get your game face yeah! on the Tournament. Pokemon fighting game yeah, for the Wii U. This game, this game, Pokemon Tournament is a new game Go created in that. collaboration between the Pokemon Company and Tech. Bandai Namco Entertainment. The producers of Tech Gen, a legendary fighting series Yo. celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. Thanks to this dream awesome. development tag team, you can now see Pokemon characters brought to life in a way you've this never this seen game, before. Yeah. With the push of a button, I will be you can instantly this. unleash I the swear. full power of your Pokemon in all of its glory. 
game's freaking awesome. What the heck? What is that? What is that? What? He Mega Evolved too? As a bonus, an amiibo card that unlocks Shadow Mewtwo will be offered in the first production run. Normally, Shadow Mewtwo can only be unlocked in the game after you fulfill certain conditions. But when you scan the Shadow Mewtwo amiibo card on the gamepad, you can start using Shadow Mewtwo right away. Pokken Tournament will what? be released spring of 2016. What? In our next game, That's... the sky That's... is not the limit. That's cool. The Fox Zero. I remember playing this game as a kid a lot. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Watch him sing it. Once again, mercenaries Fox, Falco, Slippy, and Peppy must unite as Team Star Fox and board their R Wings to save the galaxy. Vehicles are so critical to the game, you could practically call them members of the Star Fox team. Let's start by taking a look at the series' famous fighter jet, Fox's main machine, the R Wing. Its extremely high level of maneuverability makes barrel rolls and somersaults a breeze. And now, the R-Wing can transform into its new two-legged walker form yeah, that's to pick off ground-based enemies. On the flip side, the Landmaster tank is a ground vehicle with slight mid-air capabilities. It can lock on to three different targets simultaneously and inflict serious damage. It can also transform into a new flying form, the Gravmaster, to cool. expand its offensive options. Last but not least, the gyro wing. It's especially useful in stealth situations when it's important to sneak into enemy territory. When the coast is clear, drop in the helper robot, direct eye, <laughs> to hack into terminals and more. When piloting these machines, the player has two screens at their disposal, the TV screen and the gamepad screen. While the TV screen displays the craft the player is currently controlling, the gamepad screen will display a cockpit for you. Like a real pilot, the player will have to track not only what's in front of them, but all around them as well. Tilting the gamepad even allows you to aim and shoot in a different direction than you're flying. Master the controls to destroy your enemies gracefully and go for a high score. You know Falco would. Previously, we announced that the launch date for this title was delayed, but now we have a new launch date ready to announce. Delayed. Star Fox Zero will be released what? on April 22nd, April 2016. Okay. Now, let's jump right back into the Nintendo 3DS and the latest installment <sighs> of the Mario & Luigi series. Or, or uh, the Paper Mario series. Or both, I guess. Mario & Luigi team up that's with a new friend, that's a pretty cool Paper idea. Mario to explore the Mushroom well, Kingdom. As you might expect, Paper Mario can do some pretty cool paper tricks thanks to his svelte paper body. I mean, hey, if Including I have extra money! Cracks, 
turn oh, nah. into a paper airplane to haul around his corporeal counterparts, copy himself to attack enemies, and so on. There's plenty of three bro co-op action too, from trio actions to trio attacks. Did I mention epic papercraft event battles? Well, now I did. In Mario and Luigi RPGs, not battles dumb. typically like... consist of a lot of jumping and hammer whacking. This time, though, a new element called battle card has also been added. That's cool. Battle cards have various effects. They can power up attacks, damage enemies, increase your coin haul, or even lower your foe's experience level. Hm. Using amiibo, you can create a corresponding character card in the game. Character cards have more powerful <laughs> effects than the battle cards. Here are the six amiibo that are compatible with the game. Wow. You may notice that some of the card designs are based on past Mario games. Does it have like to Super be Mario Brothers the... and Mario Kart. The Mario Party If you're like though? me, you'll have to have them all. Mario & Luigi Paper Jam will be released on January 22nd, 2016. Is it just, uh, I guess? I Up next, a new game for Nintendo 3DS, Final Fantasy Explorers from Square Enix. Prepare to explore an island filled with mystical crystals in the first Final Fantasy action RPG on Nintendo 3DS. With the job system, characters can learn over 20 adventuring professions, each with their own set of special skills. Oh, it's actually like real-time battle, too. Plus, they can learn and switch too. between every job class, oh, no, no, it's not. transfer no, it's not. certain I'm skills lying. between classes, and rename spells and abilities. Browser. In fact, there are tons of customization options. You can That's even really mix cool. and match pieces it's of like, armor like, and classic Final Fantasy know. character outfits. That's cool. Yep, you can dress like beloved Final Fantasy characters, <laughs> and by using the trance ability, you can even fight as them too. I'm talking heroes like Cecil, Terra, Lightning, and more. The trance command also restores life and mana yeah, really cool. while unlocking powerful attacks. Final Fantasy Explorers can be played and beaten solo but it's quite the challenge, so you may want to adventure with friends. Up to four players can connect via local or Wi-Fi multiplayer to team up MMO style, assigning allies the combat roles of tank, healer, support, and damage. If you don't have enough people to fill your party, you can use trained monsters to fill up the party slots. <laughs> when Final monsters. Fantasy Explorers releases in the Americas in January, it will include all of the DLC that was released in Japan for free. This DLC includes special outfits and weapons and challenging content Yo, featuring notorious really Final cool. Fantasy series bosses. With over 100 quests and hours of gameplay, adventurers will be busy when Final Fantasy Explorers is released on January 26th. A collector's edition will also be available. It includes the game, an art book, 20-track CD sampler, Yo. Nintendo 3DS hard case, and exclusive quests that unlock legendary Final Fantasy weapons. Yo, that's really cool! I'm gonna get that too. <laughs> another RPG is on its way to Nintendo 3DS, and it isn't just another RPG. I'm talking about Fire Emblem Fates, Fates for Nintendo 3DS. I need that game it combines too. the tactical gameplay, memorable characters, and complex storylines the series is known for, while also innovating in each of these areas. Fans have been dying to know their options for getting their hands on the game. So, here's how. You can start by purchasing either of the two main games, Fire Emblem Fates Birthright or Fire Emblem Fates Conquest, either at retail locations or via download on the Nintendo eShop. They're each a complete story and a complete game, but playing both will show you two different sides of one brutal conflict. If you buy one game, you can get the other as a download for a reduced cost. And while it won't be available on launch day, there will also be a third story path available as an in-game download for Birthright or Conquest owners called Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. What? It will reveal some juicy secrets about the story that will affect the way you think about the other paths. It's as revealing as the name implies, so you'll probably want to save that one for last. A lot of my trees. Is this a spoiler they're showing the us? Already. So this next this? package is for folks like them who just have to have it all. Introducing Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition. Oh, I like that. Pouch. It includes all three games Birthright, Conquest, and Revelation, plus an art book and a Nintendo 3DS XL pouch. Fire Emblem Fates will be released on February 19th, 2016. Oh I'm also happy to reveal that even more Fire Emblem Fates DLC will be available down the road. 
One new map will be released for free, really cool. and after that, six new maps will be available. You can purchase them <laughs> purchase. individually, or starting today at select retailers, you can purchase all of them together for a reduced price as Map Pack 1. Oh the God. question is, which path will you take? Birthright, Conquest, or all three? The choice is yours, and it affects the gameplay. Oh let us know which path you choose. I thought it was gonna be like one game section. and you like choose. That would be. Next cool. up is Mega Man Legacy Collection from Capcom, a celebration of the 8-bit roots of Capcom's iconic Blue Bomber. Power up with dozens of cool weapons in the series and take on the evil genius Dr. Wily and his army <laughs> of robots gone haywire in this collection of the first six action platformers that started it all. The new museum mode contains a comprehensive collection of production art and original concept sketches, plus more than 100 Nintendo 3DS exclusive items, a mega treat for any fan of Mega Man and video game history. There's also a fresh new twist on the classic games with the new challenge mode. This mode features more than 50 stages of remix gameplay areas from all six games, and plenty of scaling difficulty objectives for both experienced and new players. Speaking of challenge mode, we saved some special news for last. The game comes with 11 Nintendo 3DS exclusive challenges that can be unlocked using the Mega Man Amiibo. But that's not the only Amiibo that can unlock these new challenges. You can also use this brand new gold-colored Mega Man Amiibo, which will be available exclusively in the Mega Man Legacy Collection Collector's Edition. The Mega Man Legacy Collection will be available for Nintendo 3DS digitally adding via Amiibos to everything. <laughs> and both the Standard and Collector's Edition versions will be available at retail on February 23rd, 2016. Now let's take a look at a Pokemon game coming to the Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. I'm not sure what you're expecting, but I doubt it's this. Anyone remember these? That's right. Pokemon Red version Pokemon Blue version, and Pokemon Yellow version will all be released as digital download titles on Nintendo 3DS. They're doing this. Whether you're reliving fond memories from nearly 20 years ago, or making new ones, funny. we've done what we can to preserve the games exactly as they were. Except For trading? that pesky Game Boy Game Link cable. That's not gonna work on your Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> so, a new feature has been added to this version, so you can trade and battle Pokemon like it's 1999. Yo, that's pretty. You can cool. use the Nintendo 3DS system's wireless communication feature the to battle and trade Pokemon Boy. with your friends. That's pretty cool. Actually. Pokemon Red version, Pokemon Blue version, and Pokemon Yellow version will be released on the same day as the original Game Boy Pokemon launch wow. on February 27th. That's pretty cool. Let's return to one of my favorite places, the land of Hyrule. Again. Hyrule Warriors was unleashed on Wii U last year, mm -hmm. offering players an exciting new adventure featuring Zelda characters. Now that game is coming to a Nintendo 3DS near you as Hyrule Warriors Legends, and it's bringing some new content with it. This time, Tetra, Toon Link, and the King of Hyrule from The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker <laughs> will join the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask on the battlefield. There's an original character, too, named Linkle. Linkle? She looks quite familiar. Linkle is a girl who lives in a small village filled with cuckoos. She's a dual-wielding crossbow hunter who can take down enemies coming at her from all directions. Linkle? Her jumpy, energetic nature brings something special to the battlefield. <laughs> what the heck? enemy when they're down without losing her grip on her crossbows. If Link's famous signature move is called a spin attack, maybe we should call Linkle's a spin kick. Wow. Hyrule Warriors Legends will be released on March 25th, wow. 2016. For a limited time, an original Nintendo 3DS home menu theme will also be included. I don't know if I want Our to Our RPG that lineup on. continues to strengthen on Nintendo 3DS. Including games we haven't touched on today, like Bravely Second and yes! coming in spring 2016. Yes! There's that another right series there, we'd like to discuss. I played today, the first though, one. That Nintendo really has been proud to support throughout huge the years. Plus twist. I'm happy to finally announce that Dragon Quest VII: Fragments of the Forgotten Past is also coming to Nintendo 3DS in 2016. 
In this huge RPG, explore the past to uncover the secrets of a much-changed world by collecting stone shards and defeating evil along the way. Dragon Quest. What just happened? I'd rather get the Final Fantasy game. Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past will be released in early summer 2016. Am I missing something? Pokemon. Fear not. Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King will also be released in 2016. I think so everybody's get ready to embark on screen. another epic adventure on your Pokemon Nintendo 3DS. Screen. I'm so I want to see. I know see, many um, of you have been waiting for these exciting announcements, so thank you for your patience. I want to see Smash. We've got one more update saved for last, but first, a quick rundown of some Wii U and Nintendo 3DS games coming from our development partners in 2016. Be Shoot your way through dangerous alien hives with up to three friends up or on your own. Wii U exclusive features include a super handy gamepad mini-map, plus amiibo this support for compatible like figures that unlock bonus challenges and treasures. Story? With think... Kerbal Space Program, build a spacecraft worthy of journeying to the stars. Get an internal view on the Wii U gamepad and tilt it to steer. Then watch your ship soar on your TV. Just don't kill everyone aboard. <laughs> Just don't kill in the latest side-scroller from Keiji Inafune, shoot and dash through 12 challenging stages and dozens of missions as the hero back. Face off against your eight mighty brethren and steal their powers yeah, to unlock like... new transformations. You can even team up with a friend in the two-player online co-op challenge, or throw down with them in race battle mode. Get ready to play as and unlock more than 100 Marvel characters that have never appeared in a LEGO game before. From the superheroes and supervillains of the movies to the classic They're Avengers just releasing characters that game of the comics, now for the, Wii U? the fight wow. is on. There's a lot of Form teams of classic and current characters from Capcom, Sega, and Bandai Namco <laughs> games while engaging iconic enemies in strategic turn-based battles. This time, Nintendo is joining the fight with Krom and Lucina from Fire Emblem Awakening and Fiora from Xenoblade Chronicles. Build amazing structures Terraria. and and armor, That's then wage nice. war on uh. hundreds of enemies and <laughs> giant bosses. Up to four adventurers can play together locally on Wii U or Nintendo 3DS, and on the Wii U version, up to eight players can inhabit your world online. It is your world after all. <laughs> Mario hat. Thanks for watching today. We'll leave you with one final update. I sense a new trailer approaching. Yo, please tell me it is. Please tell me it's Smash related. Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me it is. Please tell me it is. Please don't come out with some random ass game that I'm still gonna be like. Okay, yes! 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 Okay, good. Good, good, good. Who won? Who won? X? Final Fantasy X? No, what? what? Why was there an X? I probably haven't played that one. I don't know which ones I've played. Cloud? No, it's Sephiroth? Cloud. Really? Cloud? What? What the? That's so random! Cloud? <laughs> everybody was wrong! Dude, everybody said, uh... What, what were they saying? Shovel Knight? Shantae? Um... I don't know, other people. You guys were wrong! <laughs> Yo, I actually thought it was gonna be somebody from an RPG. I was hoping for Isaac, though, from uh, Golden Sun. Oh, I thought, and I was like, oh, pants? No. Only Cloud. Dang, that's really cool. I wonder, I wonder what the rest of his uh, alternates look like. Cloud. Costumes. Oh, that's really cool. So how does that work? Oh, what the? Summon? Yo, this is awesome. 
that meme's coming over here. <laughs> That's cool because it starts from the background. The thing I hate about that right there is that it's pretty much like the other smashes that there's like so many like that, like Greninja's, Ike's. What? What the? Oh, costume. Okay, that's fine. News Flash. Smash Bros. Special Broadcast coming December 20th. So I'm guessing they might add more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have more characters. Because why not? That's it? Just. It ends like that? Wow! Well. Oh. Post show, Nintendo Minute. Hi guys, welcome sure, to a very special Nintendo Minute. I'm Krista. And I'm Kit, and welcome to the official post show. What a time to be alive, Nintendo Direct. <laughs> the long-awaited return is upon us, and we're going to be breaking it all down with two special guests today. Yeah, so we have Gerard the Completionist, and then we also the have the Daywit. Um, so they are going to come out and tell us their reactions on the latest announcements in the Nintendo Direct, and we're going to play some games and chat, and it's going to be really fun. So I think Gerard is just about ready to join us, so let's bring him on in. All right, so we are back with our first special guest, Gerard, the completionist. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right, all right, I'm not going to watch this. I can see how long this is. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. It's still going for like another two minutes. Whatever. That was uh, pretty crazy. They have some pretty good games. Yeah, let's see, let's see some comments real quick. Nothing new for Kirby. Yep. Apparently... Why didn't they do Kirby? Why didn't they do more Pokemon, I guess? I mean, come on. Cloud, though. That's crazy. I mean, he was up there, but, like, I guess nobody really thought... I mean, I knew it was going to be somebody from an RPG, because I feel like, um... What was I going to say? Like, isn't... No, no. I don't know. I just feel like RPG characters are, like, more more suitable, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't really know how to say it. Like, I don't know. I just like the idea. That's pretty cool, though. Cloud, that's that's really cool. Um, so... That's it, I guess, right? How long has this even been? 47... Okay, well... Bye, guys! Bye! 